Tesla reportedly disconnecting radar in customer cars during routine servicing. The radar sensors on Tesla vehicles are being turned off during maintenance, leaving the company's semi-autonomous driving technology dependent exclusively on the car's cameras. Welcome to today's video on how Tesla reportedly disconnects radars in customer cars during routine servicing. Is this true? If yes, why would they? Come along as we find out. This is so creeping me out though. So you're not turning, the car is turning. Right. That's getting renewed attention, the autopilot system. The company made headlines in 2021 when it announced it would no longer equip its vehicles with radar sensors, opting instead to equip them with a system called Tesla Vision, which employs the vehicle's external cameras to observe their surroundings. Despite the rumors, Tesla is not physically removing radar systems from customers' vehicles. On the contrary, the company's bulletin, which is not publicly available but was made public, suggests physically detaching the radar unit from the car's wiring harness and covering off the tip of the plug. This would leave the radar unit in place, but prevent it from receiving power from the vehicle's electrical system. Now that the new service bulletin has been released and is aimed at physically disconnecting the radars from vehicles that are equipped with them, it appears like Tesla is stepping up its effort to get away from the radar. The new instruction was posted on Reddit and states that Tesla service workers should disable the radar sensors at an appropriate time, which, according to some users, might range from when they are performing regular servicing at a service facility to when they are visiting a customer's home for seemingly unrelated reasons. Some forum users were concerned that taking off the radar would require them to unscrew the bumper. Fortunately, it seems that Tesla can turn off the system by simply removing a wiring harness and capping a plug. Some customers said they had asked for the service line item to be deleted from their invoice, only to have the computer system add it back. Conveniently, a future over-the-air upgrade will allow owners to avoid the deactivation process altogether by updating their vehicles to operate outside of the radar system. But some drivers have reported being told that their car's radar systems haven't been activated in quite some time, leading some to question why Tesla would go to the trouble of turning them off. Additionally, it looks like radar disablement is now limited to Model S vehicles manufactured in 2021 or 2022 with software version 2022.20.9 or later. Employees have confirmed that this precaution is being taken because radars are now redundant due to the introduction of Tesla Vision. The rationale behind the change was given as the sensors continued power consumption despite the Tesla Vision technology suite's replacement of the radar with camera-based technology. Water intrusion into the sensors is another conceivable problem. To prevent these vehicles from ever using their radar sensors again, Tesla technicians were then instructed to disable the equipment and cap up the exposed ends of the connector. Notably, the vision-based autopilot has some limitations in comparison to radar-equipped cars. Since the United States has a maximum speed restriction of 85 miles per hour and electric vehicles lose a lot of efficiency above that level, it's probably not a big concern that vehicles can activate neither cruise control nor autopilot over that speed. It's important to emphasize it will never be perfect. Autopilot will never be perfect. No, no. I mean, nothing in the real world is perfect. Um, but I do think that long term it can reduce accidents by a factor of 10. So there are 10 fewer fatalities and tragedies and serious injuries. Um, and that's a really huge difference. In addition, they are restricted from following vehicles as closely, with their following distance increased from a single car length to two, making it simpler for other vehicles to go well ahead of the users in traffic. A number of drivers have claimed that when they disconnected their radar module, they also started getting parking sensor obstruction errors, which seem more at home with ultrasonic sensors. Only a small percentage of Tesla Vision-capable vehicle owners have reportedly disconnected their sensors. While some vehicles have apparently already undergone a software deactivation, this does not apply to older vehicles or vehicles without improved autopilot cameras and computers, perhaps because these vehicles genuinely rely on the radar sensor. But some people who upgraded their autopilot hardware for a fee have apparently disconnected their radar systems as well. 
Quite a number of Tesla engineers had serious concerns about Elon Musk's plan to eliminate radar systems from all new vehicles by 2021, and those concerns were made public earlier this year. It was a cost-cutting tactic, but it hindered many cars' ability to use autopilot for a while before an upgrade was released. There was a rise in complaints submitted to authorities in the months after the ruling. Among these were cases of phantom braking and the inability of some cars to recognize emergency vehicles. Tesla's complicated feelings toward radar remain a mystery. The system worked as described, which is that it's a hands-on system. It is not um, a self-driving system. It's unclear why Tesla would decide to remove the radar on previous models given the improved hardware 4.0 unit in its most recent Model X, as well as the fact that the Model S has a high-definition radar as part of the standard equipment on newer automobiles. Although a software upgrade is required before it can be used. However, with this move from Tesla, when it comes to developing superior semi-autonomous driving assistance systems, Tesla is now in direct competition with every other automaker. Many automakers, Volvo included, are incorporating extra hardware into their next-gen electric vehicles in an effort to improve safety, especially at night and in bad weather. However, some systems, like Autopilot, are hindered by Tesla's camera-only approach since they require closer proximity to the vehicle being followed. Why did you do that? Well, it's actually, it, we've always released Are the you results. on autopilot now? Yes, yeah, currently okay. on autopilot. The NTSB takes, they take a long time to complete an investigation. They'll take a year. Owners of Tesla vehicles are sharply divided about the company's response to the radar controversy. Some people think radar is useless because Tesla has made driving safer with its vision-only system. Some Tesla owners are unhappy because they bought a car with less features than they were promised because they believe Tesla has damaged the operation of its automobiles by deleting the radar sensors. It remains to be seen if this is the proper strategy. However, we would love to read your thoughts in the comments section as to what you think of this new update. Don't forget to like and share this video. If you want to stay in the loop on all things EV, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy driving!